Thank you for joining me today as we continue to make our way through all the members of the family. Today we're doing Mother by Danzig for Ian Fenton. And before we get going, I would like to take just a moment to thank my brothers from another mother, Michael Shukin and Frank Fuselier, for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Moms Club. Gentlemen, thank you for your support. And if you believe we're related, the link, of course, will be in the description. Start on a B power chord, that's the second fret of the A string. And then we are proceeding to a G chord, but not a whole G chord, and not a G power chord either. It's a G, a B, and a D. So it's like just the fattest three strings out of your G chord. And then an A power chord, that's open A string, and D2, G2. So. from that B power chord, you don't even have to move your pointer finger, everything just pivots around that. When things start to pick up a bit and the second guitar player joins the party, if you want to be that second guitar player, you're going to take your B power chord, but make sure your pointer finger is barring the A and the D strings because you're going to take your ring finger off followed by a quick B power chord and a quick A power chord walking down. And then we're playing our G chord, but we're not gonna just strum it, we are going to arpeggiate it, which is not a kind of pasta, it means pluck each string separately. And then to our A power chord, you're gonna pluck the open A string, the D string second fret, and pull off to open. So that guy is gonna go. Instead of B power chord, A power chord, it's a little smoother, a little slicker if you just play the B note and pull off to the open A string. I don't think that's correct, but that's my preference. But you do whichever one you want there. But if you're going to continue being original guitar player guy, you're gonna add your to the thing, but then strum your G chord just like before, strum your A chord just like before, but then we're gonna add a quick F sharp note before we play B again. That's the second fret of the E string, so. For the chorus, we're gonna play our G chord. I believe I still hear that B note in it. If you disagree, you can play the G power chord. That's fine, either would be good. To A. And then we're going to our B power chord, but we're gonna put a fifth in the bass. So starting on the low E string now, we're gonna have two, two, four, four. And then walk down with regular B, A, repeat. second fret of the E string. But at the end of the second chorus, it doesn't hit the F sharp, it just chugs away on B. Into the solo. To noodle around with which you should use your B minor pentatonic scale, that's 7, 10, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 10, 7, 10, or whichever position or positions of the B minor pentatonic scale is slash R your favorite, parentheses S and parentheses. At the end of the third chorus, you don't chug away on F sharp, you don't chug away on regular B, you chug away on your B with the F sharp in the bass, the B power chord with the fifth in the bass. <laughs> to the outro solo, which alternates between B, G, A, like we've been doing, and B, D on the fifth fret of the A string, and C sharp on the fourth fret of the A string. So. And at the end, you're gonna play your B with an F sharp in the bass power chord. And that is it.
it for Mother by Dancing. Thank you all so much for being here for this edition of Members of Your Family. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Happy Saturday. Goodbye.